Hey everyone, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily work with image overlays inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So let's say I'm working for the Weather Channel and my job as an editor is to publish 10 to 15 videos every single day to social media platforms. And this includes Facebook, the Instagram feed, and a few Instagram stories. So what I want to do to keep the branding consistent is I need to have logo bugs on every single video I publish. So here I have my little logo and I have a clip here of this hurricane. Let's say we want to put this quickly on Facebook and Instagram. Now this is a short clip. You can actually get this on Shutterstock. So I'm going to grab my logo here and prepare this, match the time here on the timeline and then I'm going to grab it and quickly resize it put it in the bottom corner, and then simply turn the opacity down a little bit. And there, now I have my logo bug. The problem is, if I'm doing 10 to 15 videos every single day, this can be a little bit annoying and tedious to have to add this every single time, even if it's as simple as copying and pasting this on every single sequence. It's kind of um, taking up too much time, so I'm gonna show you a faster way. And the beauty of this method is that you don't have to do anything in the actual project here. Everything's done in the export settings dialog box. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this logo, we're gonna delete it. And now I'm gonna grab this, let's say we wanna export it to Facebook first. So I'm gonna go to File, Export Media, keyboard shortcut is Command M. And now here I have my clip. I'm gonna go over here to Presets, and if I open this up, Adobe has a preset for Facebook. Actually, they have three right here. So I'm going to grab this Facebook 1080p Full HD. When I select this, it's automatically going to set all this up to match the settings that are best for Facebook. Now what I want to do is I want to add my image overlay now. So I can do that in this Effects tab. I'm going to select Effects. If you go down here, you can see Image Overlay. And if you've never played around in the, this Effects tab, I suggest you do. There's a lot of cool things you can add to your video. So I'm going to select Image Overlay. I'm going to open this up. And you can see here a number of different attributes that will allow me to add and position uh, an image overlay. So this will allow me to add my logo bug. So I'm going to go over here, grab my logo bug. And now I can grab the position, bottom right, scale it, and then kind of fine tune it with this offset. And then turn the opacity down. Now I know what you're saying. That so this this method might take even longer. So why am I doing it this way? You know, it's it's the same amount, if not more, because with this method now I can't even copy paste it. Well, the real power lies in the preset. I just showed you that Facebook preset. Well, now I have my image, my logo bug set here. I'm going to close this. This is good to go. Now what I need to do is go back up here to preset. And you're going to see it says custom. That's because we changed it. It's no longer this Facebook preset. So now what we can do is I can go over here and click Save Preset. And it's going to say copy of Facebook 1080p Full HD. I'm going to delete the copy of. And at the end, I'm going to add with logo bug. And the thing that's most important is that you have the Save Effect Settings checked. This will automatically apply all the effect settings to this preset, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to select OK. And now every time I come to export, all I need to do when we're going to Facebook is select this preset. So if I go back and I just did the match source high high frame or high bit rate, you're gonna see that this is gone. Now if I just go back and scroll up here to my custom presets, you're gonna see Facebook 1080p full HD with logo bug. I'm gonna select that and there's our logo bug. So this will work for any clip now. See, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I have another clip, and let's just bring this down here, kind of copy over this. Now we have this clip, which you can also get on Shutterstock. I'm gonna Command M to bring up my Export Settings dialog box, go to my presets, go up to my custom preset with logo bug, and voila, there's my logo bug. Very, very cool. Now let's say we're publishing something to Instagram. To do that, I'm gonna need to change these settings here because I want my video frame to be perfectly square. So what I can do here is I can come change the width to 1080 and that's gonna make this square and I'm gonna change the source scaling to scale to fill so that will fill that frame. And now I can go back 
to my image overlay and I need to reposition this. Uh, let's put it down here. Maybe even scale it down a little more. And now, once again, I can save this preset out, call it Instagram feed with logo bug. Make sure save effect settings is saved. Click OK. And now we have two of these custom presets here. So I can switch back, we can do landscape for Facebook, or we can do Instagram. And once again, this will work for any clip. If I go back, grab this hurricane clip, and we wanted to export this to Instagram. Now I can just go up and grab Instagram feed with logo bug. And now, man, I can just crank out videos for social media very, very quickly. Now right now, we've only been adding one image overlay. Now if you want to get more detailed, you can go into Photoshop and create something custom. So let's say I want to create something for Instagram stories. I can go over to new and I'm going to select uh, something aspect, some, an aspect ratio that's good for Instagram stories, which is 9 by 16. So here I have a 900 by 1600 pixel document. I'm going to create a new one here. Now let's say that I just want to have like a bottom border here. We want to have a little border here. So I'm going to bring this down. Something kind of simple. And then we're going to duplicate this and maybe put it on the top. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to grab my logo, bring my logo in. I could kind of scale this down and we'll put this down here. Now the key here with this is we're creating an overlay so we need some transparency. So I'm going to turn this background layer off. Now I can see the transparency. And when I go to export this, I need to export it as a transparent friendly file format. So here I'm going to export this as a PNG. That's a PNG. I'm going to save that. And now when I go over to Premiere, I'm going to hit Command M. And what we're going to do for Instagram Stories is we're going to change our settings here to 900 by 16. And now we want to scale to fill. And last but not least, we'll go over to effects, image overlay, and grab that new Instagram overlay that we created. Select open, and there we go. Now we have this cool little border top to bottom with our logo bug here. And then we could even save this out as a preset. Call it Instagram Stories with border and logo bug. It doesn't have to be something this long. So you can go kind of crazy creating these presets. And the beauty of the presets is that not only does it save your image overlay settings, but it also saves the source scaling uh, options, attributes, and the aspect ratio. So what's really cool is we're always gonna have this 900 by 600. It's always gonna automatically scale to fill. So we're really automating everything. So when I'm editing these videos out every day, all I need to focus on is picking the right video, putting it in the timeline, and setting up the time, and it's gonna be pretty much automated after that point. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.